Alright kids, let's get a move on! Today is a very big day! I'm so excited because I want to be Goldilocks! My mommy told me I'm probably going to get that role! I am beyond excited that you all are here to audition for the Kindergarten School Play! This is a really big production that Golden Stars Academy puts on every year! The parents love it! And I know each one of you are stars. As you guys know, this year we're going to be doing Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And it looks like we have just the right amount of people to put on this production. I think it's the perfect time to begin auditioning. There is no need to be nervous. Just try your best. And let's get started. All right, up first, it looks like we have Thomas auditioning for Papa Bear. All right, Thomas, whenever you're ready. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Great, Thomas. Now give me your best Papa Bear growl. Roar! Excellent job, Thomas. Go ahead and have a seat. Next up, we have Mia auditioning for Mama Bear. Whenever you're ready, Mia. What's going on in here? Someone's been sleeping in my bed, too. And now, give me your best mama bear growl. Roar! Fantastic job, Mia. Now we have William auditioning for Baby Bear. Remember, really feel the emotions for this one. Someone's been sitting in my chair. They've broken it all to pieces. Great job, William. Go ahead and have a seat, buddy. Let's go ahead and bring up Olivia. It looks like she's auditioning for Goldilocks. All right, Olivia, whenever you're ready. Okay, um... Whenever you're ready. I'm sorry, I think I forgot the lines. Here, let's see if this jogs your memory a little bit. Goldilocks suddenly felt very hungry, so she sat down at the table and helped herself to a big spoonful of the biggest bowl. Oh, I remember! Yuck! She cried, throwing down the spoon. This porridge is too salty? See, you remember it. You're just getting a little nervous, and that's okay. But let's go ahead and try something a little different. Do you mind showing me your best dance moves? Oh, sure. Wow, Olivia, those are some really good dance moves. All right, go ahead and have a seat for me. Let's bring up Kenna, also auditioning for Goldilocks. Best for last. Yuck! She cried, throwing down the spoon. This porridge is far too salty. She moved along to the next seat and tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl and made a face. This porridge is too sweet. And then she sat in the final chair, which was much smaller than the other two and tasted the porridge from the smallest bowl. This porridge is just right. She declared with satisfaction. Great job, Kenna. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Okay, everyone. Well, with careful consideration, I have decided the roles for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But remember, everyone did such an amazing job and don't forget that, okay? Now, the role of Papa Bear is gonna go to Thomas. The role of Mama Bear is gonna go to Mia. The role of Baby Bear is going to go to William. And now, we're gonna have Golden Stars Academy's very own Kenna Westbrook as Goldilocks. So what did I get? Don't worry, Olivia. I didn't forget about you. You are going to be a dancing tree. <laughs> a dancing tree? How stupid. 
I told you I was going to get Goldilocks. He gave you a tree because you can't act. Me, on the other hand, I've been in commercials. All right, here they are. Kids, these are going to be your permission slips, just to make sure everyone's parents are okay with this. Now, take one and pass it around. Let's start uh, over here. Congratulations to all of you. Once again, you're all really amazing, and I look forward to this production. August, my baby is the tree. She worked her off to be Goldilocks and she got the tree. And not just any tree, the dancing tree. Sure, Kenna has been in a couple commercials or whatever that weren't even that great, but my baby is a star. Honey, I know you're upset. And I know that Livy is too, but it's really important that she learns these lessons early. She's not always going to get the part and that's okay. I mean, you're right and I know that, I mean, I know what it's like to not get chosen. And that can really hurt her self-esteem. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, are you guys fighting because I didn't get Goldilocks? Wait, what? Sweetie, no matter what role you would have gotten, I'm very proud of you for trying. We are very proud of you. Exactly what your dad said. I know it wasn't the role that you wanted to be, but that's okay. But you are going to be the best dancing tree. Tonight is the night of the kindergarten school play and I'm so excited. The setup looks absolutely beautiful and I really hope that Livy is just feeling more confident. She's gonna do great. Looks like it's gonna be a full house tonight. Yeah, it's pretty crowded. Hopefully my stomach will be crowded too. Good evening, welcome. Hi, thank you. Can we please get uh, two tickets? Yes, that'll be $10. Okay, August, pay the lady. Wait a minute, are these bears for sale too? Yes, we sell them for $8 each. $8 each? These things are really small. Um. Well, all proceeds do go to the kindergarten field trip, so... Oh, okay, I do see that on the poster. Um, okay, let's just, uh, we can just buy one, right? Maybe get one for Leah too. Oh, okay, good idea. Um, we'll take two. All right, in total, that'll come to $26. Okay, here you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Do you think we can actually keep these bears um, with you? Um, yeah, I can put them on hold for you. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Enjoy the show. Oh my gosh, there's also a place where we can take pictures. Okay, come on, let's do one. Okay, so it looks like there's popcorn. Oh my gosh, and there's cotton candy. I think this is supposed to be the tree. Our tree, Livy. Oh, that is so sweet. Well, I definitely have to take one of these. Hi. Um, okay, here we go. And we can share the popcorn, right? Wrong. Oh, okay, I see how it is. What? They're free. You better take two. Since you want to be so stingy, now go find us a seat. It better be a good one, too. Um, no, try to get up closer. Look, maybe we can squeeze in right there. In this row? You are useless. Excuse me, sorry. The cotton candy idea was so creative. Welcome, parents, to Golden Stars Academy's Kindergarten School Play. This is a modern take on a timeless classic, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The kids have been working very hard, so please, we ask for your full undivided attention. And with that being said, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks. She loved exploring the woods near her house. One day, when Goldilocks was out exploring, she came across a clearing she'd never seen before. In the middle of the clearing stood a delightful little cottage. 
wondering who could possibly live there, she walked up the path and knocked three times on the front door. When no one answered, Goldilocks's curiosity got the better of her. She opened the door and crept inside. The smell of food drifted from the kitchen. On the kitchen table were three bowls full of lovely steaming porridge. Goldilocks suddenly felt very hungry, so she sat down and helped herself to a big spoonful from the biggest bowl. Yuck, she cried, throwing down the spoon. This porridge is far too salty. She moved along and tasted the medium-sized bowl and made a face. This porridge is far too sweet. Then she tasted from the smallest bowl. Mmm, this porridge is just right, she declared with satisfaction, and she gobbled up everything in the bowl. Now that her tummy was no longer rumbling, she decided to go and explore the rest of the cottage. While Goldilocks was asleep upstairs, the bears arrived back at their little cottage. Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear were not happy. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is still, Baby Bear said. The naughty Goldilocks quickly became very frightened. Please don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. Yeah, I'm so sorry for what I did. I broke into their house, and I ate all their porridge. Yes, I did. I so sorry. Forgive me! Forgive me! Please! I don't really know if I want to do this anymore. That should be me out there. No fair. Hmm. Oh my gosh, here comes Liffy. She looks so cute as a tree. You're right, she does. Go Liffy! I bet you're all wondering how the story ends. Let me tell you. The bears forgave her with their kind heart. They shared their porridge, a new fresh start. So remember, my friends, to be kind and fair. Respect others' home, show them that you care. Thank you so much to everyone who helped out with this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!